Nine lives is a very popular effect, but to make it in real life is awfully time consuming and expensive. But with cell version 4.0.3, it has become very easy to make one. So let's start with the main asset of your choice. For this tutorial, I'll be using a model that I got from the Blender Market. Let's set a cell environment by clicking Add Sky. Now let's try to compose uh, main look of the timeless shot that we are after. To get the sky right with this model, I guess we need to look from below the ground. So let's remove the ground by clicking Remove Desert. And let's adjust the location of the sun to get the look that we want. And let's frame this in a camera. And like I said before, please make sure that you're getting the clipping end of the camera long enough to get all the clouds, stars, and the moon. And let's look through the camera and frame the shot the way we want. Now at the starting frame 0, let's set the starting location of the sun. Now let's go to the end frame of our prospective sequences. If you are rendering a 5 second video of 24 frames per, per second, the end frame will be 5 times 24. So let's just set the end frame number to 120. And go to the end frame. Now here's the trick. Move the X slider under the uh, times uh, under the sky time lapse controls until the sun moves to where you want it to be at the end of the video. And now scroll through the time lapse to make sure that the sun and the clouds are moving the way you want. And now another tip. Let's say you want to uh, show up the moon in the sky then please make sure that the camera's clipping end is longer enough to get the moon right. And if the star seems too bright, then you can adjust the uh, size of the stars right there. and adjust the moon's location so that it will show up uh, in your timeless shot uh, when you want it to be. And go to the frame where you definitely want it to uh, show up and adjust the location of the moon. And then the moon will move but it will definitely end up showing at that frame. So this is it. This is a this is your time list then. Simple, isn't it? Now that's it. I hope you found the tips and tricks useful and hope to see you in the next tutorial.